Sally, why are you wearing your George Washington shirt? Is that what house phones look like? You lying, Aisha. Yeah, you eating, sis. Candy? I don't like how happy you were. It's not all about you, mom. Sally! Come on, a uh, half and half. You about to propose to her right now in jail? Did the daughter not ask? To this day. Not by racial Aisha. Is that white and doesn't mean Sally did it. Like, we nasty. This is for us, y'all. Oh, we ain't worried about you, boo. What happened to that, boy? Who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? Get it. Go Oh, hey. Kinley, why you got a hot time? Oh, that's not me with the rake, baby. No, Terrence, you got it wrong. Not for you and your dad. I wish there was like a gesture. This is gonna sound like drama. And I'd like to bond on what up loves and welcome back to another episode of from rizzo with love with me your girl donna rizzo as we're here to recap another episode of onyx collective's reasonable doubt on hulu season two episode eight if this is anything like the other season this is the penultimate episode so we only have one more episode left which means they will be setting shit up for the next season's case but also, we're going to get ready to close out Chanel's case. But maybe they're going to do that on the next episode again. Maybe, since you're here with me, and I should be kind of like an expert, let me look up how many episodes there are this season without getting any spoilers. I was wrong, but this is why you're here. There are 10 episodes, which means there's one week where I will be working on three shows at once. Really four, because the team is two shows a week. So... Send prayers. If this is your first time here, I am your girl, Donna Rizzo. I do live reaction recaps for scripted black reality shows. So if you're a fan of Insecure, Rap Shit, Married at First Sight, Real Housewives of Potomac, Sisters, Zatima, Did Some Sprinkles of Big Brother. If y'all are fans of any of that, go back and check my recaps out. This isn't like other recap series that you see. One, because it's me. But two, because like I said, this is a live reaction recap. So I'm not talking about the show that I just watched already. I will be watching the show along with you, posting clips and snippets here as I comment in order as it appears. So I'm not talking to you about what happened at the end of the episode. I'm going through all the same emotions that you went through, right? This is not gonna be the length of the entire episode, hopefully. Though I don't know how my last episode was 40 minutes. Don't do that shit no more, Donna Michelle, okay? Make sure you do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because we now have three, essentially eight, nine, and 10 episodes left for you to join in on the conversation. Um, we are an engaging group, an engaging bunch. I do like to comment and interact with you guys. I do see the same faces and people and comments and all that. So make sure you stick with me. Couple of things to note before we get into this episode, because I feel like this has been a long week. Things have just been a long week. Work is kicking my ass. And I would like to kick their ass, but you know, thank God for, for break. It's not growth yet, we're working on that. Okay, first up, what's in the drawer, Spencer? Spencer, are these drugs? Are these guns? Is this? paraphernalia what's in the drawer spencer if we don't find out about it on this episode let me know what y'all think is in the drawer two a couple of people said that this was the best episode of the season last last episode was the best episode of the season and you know what fully agree i did not mention it because i was crying but also just blown away at how good all the emotion all the acting all the pieces that we got superb episode Big ups to the writers, directors, actors, of course. Amazing episode. Next, um, I've had a hard reevaluation of break babies, y'all. My mind and my ego, really, won't let me say that I'm okay with this, seeing it. Okay. I don't know if I should apologize to all the break baby women out there. Not like I ever said anything publicly, but up here, oh, it'd be all the time. Though, when Jack said, wait, are they gonna f us over and she gonna say, wait, I want a divorce? Lord Jesus, please don't, okay. Set up for the next season. What's the case? Some think it's Tony, some think it's the DA, some think it's Adrian, some think it's Spencer. Next, remember how I told you guys like, yo, I would never be friends with Jax. And then I was like, yo, I want to really know what these actors, like I need to see them during a press run or something because I really want to know who these people who are playing them are. Y'all, Emmy mother Nazi. I want to be friends with her in real life. She is like, 
She's the old Jax. So you know how we see throwbacks of Jax? She's more like that than she is the present day Jax, which is also amazing because you're an amazing actress, but also she's a Capricorn. So that shit lives in her. If you screw her over or if something happens, that's who she would be if she wasn't an actress. From what I see, I would so want to be her friend. Jax, may go to hell. But please don't actually, not on the show. And then just real quick, I want to say thank you to all the people who are sharing and reposting and commenting and watching cast crew actors directors writers like i see you guys even if it's just a view thank you so much to tony whose name i'm forgetting in real life is it adriana uh, thank you so much for the repost um thank you so much folks for watching and just supporting and liking and hearting shannon kane ride or dying for me ever since i started posting these so big ups i hope you don't die because we want to see more of you if this ain't it we're going to see more of you for sure oh oh also fuck sally not in real life but it's out here okay um is it sally no, no, no. i should always ask who killed him but that seems to be tertiary to me when i ask all these kinds of questions but thank you so much like you guys don't understand or maybe you do but like I don't know if you guys understand how big it is to see you guys liking the work that I produce, right? Cause I am here, as I always say, right? I'm here liking and appreciating and bigging up the work that you guys do. But to have that favor returned from you guys means so much. And it actually goes a long way for someone who is such a small creator like me, who has such big thoughts and dreams and visions and like talent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is this my time to talk my shit? All it takes is to know me and the book. What is it? Is access an opportunity? It's me. Is it me? It's me. But thank you again so much. Okay, before I get into all my, my thank yous and my Emmy speeches and nominations. No, but for real, it really, truly, honestly does mean a lot. And I, I told my nephew, like my, I have six nephews, my, second nephew i apologized to him for something when he was little and he was like i don't even remember that shit. And i was like oh okay did it never happen just playing and he was like he's like no the only thing i remember about you is like you're cool and you're my funniest person in my family and i was like i don't know if you know but you're now the fan favorite and i'm the fan okay <laughs> somebody who tells me i'm funny And it's not like I be trying to be funny, you know what I'm saying? I'm just an ass hole and I'm an ass um, often. So it just is what it is. But like, thank you. Love you, Anthony. Okay, y'all, let's get into this. I'm not going to take too much time. I keep saying that. And it's like 20 minutes in, right? Damn, Donna Michelle. Oh, and before y'all comment, I did get my nails done. It's a New York theme. But I will be getting at least, not at least, I will be getting four of these nails redone. So get these while you can. Taxi, door knockers, that's the culture con logo 31 mets basketball whatever y'all can see it ding ding these are the ones that i will be getting replaced what is that what is that i don't know this is the inspired by a hand you see those inspired by tim's inspired by concrete jungle i don't know how this focus works so that's all you're getting but these will be changing in a couple of days all right, y'all. Without further ado, let's get into Onyx Collective's Reasonable Doubt, Season 2, Episode 8. I forgot to say on Hulu. I'm sorry. Let's go. Okay, remember what I told y'all last week about the previews? Did you see the montage of Sally saying fuck you and she knew and hates all this? Like, this why I don't be watching scenes from the next episode. I really need to stop watching the fucking previews because it's giving shit away. I'm too smart. Lewis, McKinley, McKinley, McKinley. Don't say I'm in the divorce. Oh. How does it feel? We didn't have to go immediately into the sex scene though, guys. There's a sex scene every every episode. We nasty. Like we nasty. This is for us, y'all. We did this. Um, real quick. That's the that's the one. Okay, sorry. Oh, perfect song. Okay, that was a very short intro. It's almost like they weren't sure if they were gonna keep it at the end 
or, or what? That was an extremely short intro, guys. Did we get tested before he just went up in you again? Like both of us? Tony was fucking at least. <laughs> Two motherfuckers. At least. And she had the other joint there too. Which means whoever that bitch was fucking raw, Tony was also fucking raw. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's how it goes, children. Your raw dog, him who's raw dog 17 other bitch, you raw dog 18. Okay? Okay. We don't need this. This is for Spencer, isn't it? Jesus. Spencer is out here. How it? Oh, is it drugs? He's a drug dealer. He went to the white school because he wants to deal to the little rich white boy. No, he's rich. What am I? I don't know. What if he doesn't want to be music? What if he wants to be a rapper and he's got to get his street cred? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Spencer, don't fail us now. Oh, this is the white suit they have her in. Oh, is that white and cream? You know what? This gonna sound like trauma, and I'd like to bond on it. I grew up in the house with my mom, and my dad would, you know, uh, come by when he wasn't with his other family. And I really don't have the experience of waking up and like being grossed out by parents kissing. It. Like, that's never been my thing. That's nasty to y'all, huh? Is that trauma? Should I go talk? To They only make crop tops for kids now. Don't done. Spencer said, I'm not dumb. Also, I looked up um, because I couldn't find certain actors to like, I tag all basically the entire cast and crew. If they're in the episode, I will tag them. I couldn't find Spencer for a while because I looked his name up and it was an older gentleman. I said, this is not him. And then I saw that that was his dad and I found him and he's like a rapper. And I'm like, it's crazy. Cause I saw Spencer and I said, where have I seen that kid before? He was a young Michael. I was going to say Michael J. Fox. What the Michael B. Jordan in Creed. he had been around for a long time. I was looking at his reel and I'm like, okay, this kid been acting and he has a song out. So I'm like, Big ups. Now I see the tie with who you are and you wanting to go to a music school. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see how far they take this. Jax. Jax, baby. With the lotto. Cap, 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 Capricorns. Jax. Jax, baby. Okay. Oh, we ain't worried about you, boo. Oh, Morris. It's going to be tough. After rejecting you, I fuck shit out of my man. Not tough, baby. It's tough for you and your daddy. She was still with somebody, and she was cool, but Chanel was trying to leave. Because right, right. I was worried. Like, you got Chanel, who's going to say, of course, I didn't do it. Then you have Sally, who's a friend and a cousin, who's going to say her cousin didn't do it. You need somebody who's, like, on the outside of the shit. Dad, there was no reason to do the sheets for me on purpose. So she became friends with her. I didn't expect that. I thought that girl was going to give her a hard time. I'm still not sure how I feel about her, but okay. Uh, come on, a uh, half and half? Wait, half and half? Is that half? She been in everything. And Abbott Elementary, she was a librarian. Okay, shut up, Donna. Go back. How do we feel about this? She said, there will always be more abuse. Is that right? Once an abuser, always an abuser? I'm not the once a cheater, always a cheater type of thought. Am I? Stupid to tell you now. I believe in second chances. Now, <laughs> I wasn't talking about for me. <laughs> okay, just, just to be clear. Wow. Wow. Seven hundred times. She's speaking to the DA too. I see where you going, DA. Hmm. She said, I'm going to play your game. I am going to play your game where I say something, you get mad, and I say, oh, no, just playing. I'm going to back up. Don't worry. But the jury heard it. We're not taking it out the record. You heard me. DA, I can see you. I don't know how many more episodes we're going to see you, but I see you now. Oh, she's recurring. Aisha going to be recurring. 
Oh, her kid goes to the same school? We see the couch. And you know what? This is what I always say. Fucking Emmy Yancey, you're so good. Do y'all notice the fact that her she's sitting down and her shoe is off a little bit? There's no way in hell that that was written in the script. Zero. Zero percent chance that that small gesture right there was written in the script. But she knows I am a woman. I've been in my heels all day, right? I am playing a character who's like this. Even though she's a bad bitch, she still would take her shoes off because it would help relax her foot. Even though she's going to put them heels right the fuck back on because we don't ever do no flats. We keeping the heels on the whole time because it's about the look. But baby, when I get a break, I shall take a break. Jax, we see you as more human here. And I know that's what you want us to fucking see, and me, I see when you get in the therapist's office. You're amazing. I wish there was like a gesture, Emmy. Like a not written down. You know what I'm saying? Also, big ups, therapist. Taking care of the fucking big baby. Yo, I didn't even think about the fact that you now have to talk to your children about the fact that your dad tony who goes to school with your little girl and used to go to school with your son and the girls and whatever whatever play together and she also fucked jt and could have been the reason why auntie chanel is in jail but i got a baby by her and i wasn't sure at first because i thought it was the dead jt my friend uncle jt's baby but it's actually mine and the way your mom found out about it was from watching me on a tmzz a tzz video of the hoe who you was in school with mom right the girl ain't the hoe it's the mom and the hoe yeah how you tell them first of all i don't like how happy you were just king lewis and then your face changed when you saw Jax. you also don't tell me to show up at my house unannounced okay don't do that because I could turn you away right now and tell you to schedule later. You bum. I need to meet at a neutral place. I'm sorry. You can't come with all this energy in my house. You got to get the fuck out. Okay. Let's meet at a coffee shop and I'm going to bring a calendar and we can figure this out. It's a boy. Yeah. I know. How do you feel? And then Lewis, you can't even be excited. Or you, oh, but then Jax, you don't want your husband not to be happy about this. Kid. Ugh. <laughs> These are siblings for real. What? See, I don't know how to do this because you wasn't going over anybody's house. Nobody of the opposite sex was coming over your house. Whether the parents were there. Maybe for like, I don't even, I don't even know. But also, I did go to boarding school. So I bet my parents never had to have that conversation with me. Or like, we never had to go through that. Because I was in boarding school. We was actually over each other's houses all the time. Just never in the dorm rooms. We were in like each other's living rooms all the time. Unattended without parents or anything it was just common areas how do i do that with regular kids question number 75 when did your parents allow you to have an opposite sex person friend come over your house because to this day to this day no one from the opposite sex can sleep over <laughs> my mother's house not even downstairs and i'm upset to this day. Oh, it's a custody hearing. Oh, that's why, that's why she's fighting so hard to keep to win this case, because he was like, if you lose, you might lose your job. What happened to that boy? <laughs> I said, sit down. Did we know that? I guess when we said gambling, that's what it meant. They were fixing games. I thought they were just gambling money. What a terrible thing to do. 
Chanel is feeling like she's getting closer. We trying, girl. We really trying. Hold that up. You never take your daughter's feelings, emotions, or anything that she's going through into account. You want her to come over to meet your new boyfriend during her trial? It's not all about you, mom. What's wrong with Kevin, y'all? Because we, we, we not there yet. What's wrong with Kevin? Is Kevin the DA's joint? Who's Kevin? Who's Kevin? Kevin's not Evan. No, because Evan got locked up. Who the fuck is Kevin? Mm. Is that what house phones look like? I ain't seen a house phone in so long. That's like the old house phone. They haven't grown those, I guess, because people don't really need them. They look the same. Oh, hey, pop them. Get it. Hey, get it. Get it. Go. Oh, hey. Look at Aisha. Gas. Somebody gonna say some racist sh Watch. Not by racial Aisha. Uh oh. Spencer. Oh no. Aisha, your vape gonna have something laced in there. You lying. You lying, Aisha. Where's your shit? What you know, Uncle Terrence? Oh, what? What? Also, I'm not having this conversation with you because I don't give a. You're not my man. Thanks, Uncle Terrence. Oh, you are. I heard him. Oh, you feel the kick? Oh my god. Oh, that's not me with the rake, baby. <laughs> no, Terrence, you got it wrong. Come on, Ebony. We see you, lead counselor. I saw this on social media. Question number 76. What do black people love more? Bridge, spades, uno, pea knuckle, <laughs> or dominoes? Go. Who that? Who that? Oh, that's Kevin. Oh, you mad about us molester at all? We like Kevin and Pauletta together. This is now this is my trigger. Don't use another situation to give me a life lesson about some other shit that's up in the fan. Okay? I don't care. I know this is my PTSD and I don't care. Don't do that. <laughs> Look at the two the two looks. <laughs> Jax. Don't y'all mind. Oh lord. This is so weird to me. Any lawyers watching this? I mean, ball play, anybody who plays against someone for a substantial amount of time, right? It's not like, oh, I'm a, in a tennis match with my friend. Oh, we're opposite spades partners, right? It's not that. This is about my job, public facing. And we just out here key can? Or the next day we could be co-counsel on another case together? That's so weird to me. Y'all ever notice the differences in how people smoke cigarettes? Like, or, or weed, whatever it is, just the something that's like a stick. Because Lewis smokes just like the DA. And Jack smokes like, oh, I'll say like a black mom. And it's on the day of Mean Girls too, in her little pink t-shirt. No. No, Lewis, it's because of the medical care that they could get in the hospital. You don't, you don't get it. Also, you expect me to be in the water with you? Hmm. Uh, no, I'm gonna check with me and my wife and figure this out, oh, okay. Sally, why are you wearing your George Washington shirt today? Does the jury know that Jax is friends with this group? Y'all already know how this sh goes. A safety plan that exists for women. Oh my goodness. I love this. I hope if any women here who are watching or listening are going through abuse, look that document up, create your own safety plan and get some help. He don't love you, sis. Okay. Any friends like Sally who know friends of, save them. I tried to save a friend who was getting abused. She didn't want to see it. And then I stood up when her abuser attempted to abuse me and she chose to go with him. That's perfect.
regimented. <sighs> That's a good witness. That's a good witness. DA, 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 you eating, sis. You eating, sis. Yo, I'm telling you, whenever she seems to be going too good for Jax and Corey Cash, the DA swoops in or somebody dies. I mean, I don't understand why that's bad. They be feeling like showing emotion is bad. He abused your sister. He deserves to die. Period. Last time this shit happened, Jax tried to use the witness's anger to pin it on them. Is she going to try that with Sally? Nah, nah, you can't lose one friend and get nine. Nah, never. Also, just going back to the scene with Tony and Lewis, Tony, you wildin'. He did not say he wants to be in your life. He said he wants to be in his child's life. You said taking care of you every day after you give birth. No. You need me to take the baby? Maybe, but I'm not going to take the baby away from the mom. But yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Yo, what happened? Where's Victor? She committed suicide? That was a very odd way for us to see that. Guys, I don't know if we fell in love with her enough. I don't know if we saw her enough. We needed some more scenes with them two talking so we can build that character up. I know what you tried to do. Like, oh, if this case doesn't go through, somebody like this can't withstand being here for longer. This is a number that jail takes on you, right? We needed more build up though, okay? Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> go Nick, it's crazy. <laughs> Get off the bed in these clothes though. said i don't want it talking about this baby lewis spill it fucked up four times but what i mean can somebody tell me what's wrong with lewis's hand i need to know i don't remember <laughs> you about to apologize lewis can we say our son i'm a stepmom damn they staying together Jax, what's your brain doing in that moment what thoughts are going through your head is it, I can't believe that this happened to me and this is my life? Is it, he don't want anything to do with this baby, so I'm gonna figure something out to do? Or is it, how old am I gonna be when this child is 18? Okay, Adrian's not dead. He has all his fingers in his hands, y'all. That was a heavy country, y'all. My bad. Being in jail. You still were playing me, my man. Wait, 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 he got, he got cut from the team. I thought he wasn't playing anymore. Am I? I got, okay, my bad. So you better not ask her for no money. Oh, all right, cool. Just checking. You about to propose to her right now in jail? On a dirty pay phone phone? You should not tell that nigga ass because you about to be locked up for life, so. Let her have some money. My man. I'm not even divorced. I don't know if that's if your husband is dead. Do you have to get a divorce? Or, uh, that's dumb. You don't have to get a divorce, Donna. Stupid. You gonna ask me that and just walk away? Cool. Should have had the media light. Like. Yeah, I know I like that's pretty ish. Oh, okay. I'm glad that you were able to even open up and say this to him though. Thank you for being able to express these feelings and these emotions, Jack, and not Jackson, not hold on to them. That's big of you. McKinley, why you got a hot top? Y'all, I don't know what this episode is giving me. We have nine minutes and 49 seconds left, which is really 930 left. What's happening? We, we're we not getting enough of Corey Cash here. We're looking for another witness. We have to have something that comes up with another witness. Or are we going to end with Chanel on the stand and the DA is going to continue this episode whooping their ass? And we're going to be really worried that Chanel is not going to get off by the end of this episode. Mm. Okay, now he's saying, I hope you're right about this. He better not blame Jax if some sh** go through. My wife and I, we want to discuss the abortion. You better be a lesbian. She asked if it was public record 
When she found out it was, she said no, because she did not want this out publicly. What's the DA gonna come with? But if it was that bad, why did you care to protect him? I don't know. She gonna whoop they ass this episode. She playing a game, y'all. She did that shit again with the, oh, I'ma say some shit. Oops, withdrawn. Corey, step your shit up. You weak this episode. Ever since Jax denied you and you thought you was big man in charge, you getting your ass whooped. Go get some fucking from that reporter girl and get your shit together. Mm. Damn. Good witness, Jax. Good witness. Okay. So if you... I don't know if you guys have heard Emma Yatsi, Emma Yatsi, I, I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, um, in her interviews. This voice that she puts on with Jax is not her normal voice, but you can hear a little, little come out here when she's being like more fun or flirty or like with her shoulders down, you can hear more of her voice because it's, it's a very distinct way of speaking. Go watch an interview and then come back and hear it. Y'all see the difference in their lives. Corey is like, no plans. She's like, I'm going home, pick up my children, dinner with my family. His dad was right when he was like, yo, at the end of the day with these big cases, you need somebody to come home to who could rub your f back, who could tell you it's okay, who could let your shoulders down, who could love up on you. Cause this is crazy. Now, I don't know if that's what daddy really said. Cause all I heard was cheat, cheat, cheat. I'm a mother oh, but that's what he meant. <laughs> yep. He's seeing that shit. Hey, girl. I just want to apologize to you. First of all, what a beautiful thing for a friend to say. Not that it is my fault, but for some reason, you didn't feel comfortable and safe enough to open up to me, your girls, to know that you could be, you would be okay and we would have you. And maybe not an apology for me because that nigga was fucking with you so much so. So I'm not sorry for me. I'm sorry that you went through that. We all know Sally don't have to do that. We all know Sally's in her. Oh my God, not the glass, the hand thing at the jail. If I got locked up, I would do that just cause I feel like, you know, like you gotta, you gotta have certain memories. I feel like that's a. Exactly. Huh? Yes, bitch. You. Bitch. These kids have no idea. Wait, did the daughter not ask? Are these Braxton Hicks? Are we going to lose the baby? Oh damn! They awarded him custody. Candy? Didn't I say this? Didn't I say he abused Natasha? He you abused the last word, and that's why Natasha killed the kid. I'm sticking with it now, not Sally. I'm sticking with this. Oh, come on, Solange. Jax, what are you gonna do? Different forms of love? This what we gonna end on? You calling Adrian? The drawer is gonna be open. What, what's gonna happen, y'all? Shorty gonna be in the... You gonna find a vape? Who you talking to? Who you talking to? Who you talking to? Maybe we should... We should tell the truth? Maybe we should tell the truth. Rachel, Sally! Y'all say another word. Okay. My hair is too tight. I can't even show you facial expressions. Jesus Christ, I didn't know. Oh my God, I'm gonna lose some hair for sure. Bear with me. Ooh, now I can show you how angry. Oh Lord. I can still can't move much. Jesus. Y'all. This doesn't mean Sally did it. This means Sally knows who did it. 
Sally knows it was the daughter who did it. And Sally's saying, hold on, baby girl. Let's talk about it. Also, all of your phone calls are recorded in jail. Also, can you just be like, knock, knock. Hey, I need to make a call. Okay. I'm still sticking with the daughter. That's why they're bringing in the ex. Because she's going to be like, Natasha saw me getting abused by her daddy. That's what sent me to rehab. I started doing drugs and I couldn't take care of him or her. And then Natasha was with the grandma. And that's why she was like, mm. I still think it's the fucking daughter. And Sally knows. Last question. Who did it? Why? Where? What? How? Talk to me. Talk to me. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Do not forget to subscribe. Watch a video that you have not seen before. Stick with me for these next two episodes as we close this season out. And please always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Bye, guys.